Hello all and welcome to this hands-on lab on Amazon Macy. Before we continue further ahead, a couple of things to keep in mind. Using AWS services, leverage in this tutorial can incur charges. Please ensure that you clean up all resources after completing this tutorial in order to avoid any surprise charges in the future. Scenario for our tutorial today. You have an S3 bucket named Macy Hands-On Demo. Now, this is the S3 bucket name that I will be using in this tutorial. You are more than welcome to create an S3 bucket with whatever name that you like. As per your organization's policy, you need to ensure that no files uploaded to this bucket has employee ID info. And that is because your organization considers employee ID as PII information. In order to do the same, you need to come up with a solution that can monitor this bucket on a daily basis and look for specific PII info. Someone from your team uploads a CSV file to this bucket containing employee info, including their employee ID. You need to create a Macy job to identify this data breach. Okay, so I hope this scenario is clear. Prerequisite for this tutorial, of course, is knowledge of Amazon Macy. So if you're not aware of what Amazon Macy uh, is all about, you know, refer to this overview tutorial that I had created some time back. The URL is right here at the bottom. Pre-prep for this tutorial. Create an S3 bucket named Macy Hands-On Demo. And as I mentioned earlier, you could, you know, create S3 bucket with whatever name that you like. After that, create a CSV file named PII CSV. Now, this is the file that I will be using. Again, you can create CSV file with any name and pretty much any info. Okay. For this tutorial, I will be creating a CSV file with these four records in it. Okay. And I have uh, and I will have it uploaded to this S3 bucket. Now, one thing that I would certainly want to mention over here is the format of employee ID. Remember, we are treating employee ID as PII information. So for this particular demo, I'm using a very specific format. Okay, so I'm using a format of, you can say, the first two characters are letters and the last four characters are numbers. So if you see all of the employee IDs are in that very specific format. And you will see why I'm using this because as we go further ahead, we'll be creating a regex and everything on those lines. Now, of course, if your organization has a different uh, format for employee ID, feel free to leverage that format as well. But I'm using this format. So if you're, if you're following this tutorial, I mean, you can add other columns, you can add other information, but just ensure that you stick to this employee ID format, okay? Steps for our tutorial today. First, we will create a Macy job. Then we'll create a custom identifier for employee ID, leveraging the regex. Then we'll initiate our job, review our findings, and then eventually take any appropriate action that is required on the CSV file data. We know that employee ID should not be present, but first we have to identify that it is present and then it is up to us whether we want to delete the file or we want to just delete the employee ID information from the CSV file. I mean, that appropriate action would depend upon, you know, the organization or whatever, you know, the individual wants to perform. Okay, so let's switch to my Amazon console. So this is my bucket right here. This is my uh, Macy hands-on demo bucket, right? And this has my PII CSV. And I actually have it opened over here as well. So this is my CSC file with four records. And that is uploaded right here. Okay. Now let's go to Amazon Macy. So this is Amazon Macy. And what we will do is we will create a job. So click on create job. And this is our bucket right there. So select your bucket. Click on next. And let me scroll down. 
click on next now if you go back to our uh, problem definition okay we need to come up with a uh, on daily basis and this is generally what you will normally land up doing in your real life scenario okay so if you see over here there are two options one is a scheduled job on daily basis and you can pretty much do this as well now since i am doing this for a demo and i need this to be completed right away right now okay i am going to be switching to a one time job but otherwise just select schedule job and select the frequency as daily okay and you'll be fine but since i want this to be finished right away right now i'm going to create a one time job if you are practicing just feel free to create a one time job as well okay now let's go to the additional details right there at the bottom and we will say hey uh we will select file extensions because i don't remember putting any tags to my file so i'm just going to go by the extension csv and basically say that hey include this okay and if you want you can have other extensions and include and exclude i want to keep it simple just say hey just look at csv file and click on next now we have to create a custom identifier remember we are treating this employee id right as pii information this entire employee id this column as pii information and as i said earlier this employee id has a specific pattern especially in my case the first two character uh, letter uh, characters are alphabets and the last four characters are numbers okay so let's create a custom identifier over here so click on manage custom identifiers okay and let's click on create and i'm going to say emp id and i have created this regex over here so this is my regex remember it's very simple right so the first two characters are alphabets and the last four are numbers so stick it right there i mean anybody can you know follow this is pretty simple if you want to put any keywords ignore words otherwise just leave it alone and click on submit okay so our custom identifier has been created okay now come back over here refresh and select employee id click on next we'll give it a job name we will say employee id job okay and click on next and scroll down and so generally if you want to store these results you have to create a repository correct because of the sensitive data but if you are doing this for you know uh, just for demo purposes or learning purposes or basically you don't have any compliance reasons to store this information right then you can say that hey i don't want to you know store this information may say we'll store it for approximately 90 days after that it will delete it so you can pretty much override this requirement of creating a repository but let's say if you had compliance reasons and other reasons to store this information then in that case you will have to configure a repository over here which is nothing else but an s3 bucket okay so i am going to just override this information right now i don't need to store this information for long term purposes so i'm all good and i'm going to go ahead and click on submit so my job has been created remember it is py a four and this is running okay and typically this will take some time so our run has started okay it will typically have one object to process remember we have one csv file okay so this typically takes about a few minutes uh, approximately 7 to 10 minutes so i'm going to pause the recording and once we have the results available to us right then we i will resume recording so our job is still running but i wanted to showcase to you that it has picked up our file if you see 
approximate number of objects to process. So it is one now, and it is our first run. So it's going to continue pro to process this. It'll take some more time. So I'm going to wait and then again resume recording. So our job has just completed and it took about 10 minutes. Okay. And now let's look at its findings. So click on show results and click on show findings. And right here we have uh, one finding that has come up. Correct, that is for our custom identifier employee ID and it's the medium severity right there. So select that. And if you go to actions, click on export to JSON and you'll be able to see it right here. So this is our job ID, remember, 5A4. And it's telling us that there are uh, four employee IDs right here, right? Count for name employee ID in our CSV file. And this is the information right here at the bottom. Some additional information if you want to see. Okay, so guys, this is, uh, you know, how you kind of, you know, classify some of these informations, leveraging Macy and identify them. Hopefully this particular demo was uh, helpful. Now I have just done this for employee ID. You can, you know, create several other custom identifiers depending upon your organization as well. And uh, do kind of, you know, explore this service. It's pretty, it's pretty neat. I like it. And uh, I, I've been kind of playing around with it for a few days. So overall it's, it's decent and kind of works. Sometimes it takes a little while to kind of, you know, get the job done, but it uh, it does complete and you know does a decent job so that's it from me today i will see you shortly in some other video till then take care bye bye